Hello, Tamara here from Posh Cat Crafts. Nice of you to join me. It seems like an age where since I've made a video, so much has happened in the last month or so. It's been uh, hectic and non-stop. So lots of good things coming. Uh, can't tell you about them too much at the moment, but uh, really exciting. So I'm I'm buzzing about um, that news and really excited to be able to tell you uh, soon so um, stay tuned for that um, this is a brand new video that we're going to start and finish and I've got some exciting news that um, I uh, met Barbara Gray, Gray one day at uh, when I was visiting her chanda, we got talking and um, she invited me onto her design team and I accepted, yay! So I'm really, really excited uh, to get cracking with um, all of the, the clarity stamps and stencils and especially uh, Leonie's um, things, products that she's bringing out. Um, amazing um, so I'm really really excited so just to ease us into um, the clarity way of life um, I thought we would get started and do what I do best and make a memory book now this isn't the memory book we're not this isn't the format uh, of the memory book that we're going to make uh, sorry it is the format that we're going to make but it's not the design now this was made for um, another show um, using Pentart products so it's a bit more of a mixed media album so um, I wanted to just show you a, a sample of what we're actually going to make. Um, the book that I made for Leonie's show on her chanda I forgot to take pictures and uh, I could kick myself but what I have um, got is a small snapshot of a video that um, I took of um, Hachanda and Leone showing my book. So I may include that uh, a bit later on in the, the video or just after I fin finishing, finished waffling and you can just see you know, a little bit of what it is we're going to make. I must admit I'm so um, thrilled with how they've turned out so this is uh, the book that we've, we're going to make it is the we're going to be using these fresh cuts dies now this is their nested squares and these fit perfectly into the aperture uh, the fresh cut aperture dies that are also from clarity um, so they 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 help uh, with the if you wanted to cut this bit out because this has got no cutting edge around the outside so you can die cut it and just leave it into your page if you want to uh, we may do one of those pages uh, later on um, so I, I got the the nesting squares now I'm, uh, I bought these first when they first launched and I'm embarrassed to say that um, I've only just got them out of my box that is new 
and these launched sometime last year so I'm a bit embarrassed about that and I must admit I'm thinking why have I not used them beforehand because I did actually buy them to in within with the memory books in mind because I just like the idea of um, putting some acetate behind and then having um, some glitter like a little shaker type card um, sort of in the background but say a card I mean like a tag in our books um, so that was my way of thinking when I bought these so um, there, there is there are few, there are quite a few different collections out now as I say I'm just using the first one that I bought and they've also got circle ones out which are absolutely divine that's on my wish list is the circle ones um, to try next time so I've just got um, like the sort of flower one we're not going to be using all of these um, we're just going to be using a section of these but I will you know when I die cut them I'll show you which ones I use I quite like this one as well it's quite nice and the flowers that's lovely uh, Chinese lanterns and honesty aperture so we've got Queen Anne's lace poppy seed heads wild seed heads mountain ash and wild privet okay we're going to be using this one this one is absolutely lovely as well so we're going to probably use a selection of those but i will uh, let you know as we go through and then we're going to be using the clarity designer paper they've only just bought this out in 12 by 12 and i have to be honest when i first got it i thought uh, although it's colourful there's not enough pattern on it for me to make a memory book with but I thought no I'm going to have a go and wow I have to say I absolutely fell in love with them um, they the colours the they're just phenomenal so um, again I think why have I not had these in my life before now so I have to say we'll flick through and we're going to just use a selection of these. Now these are all um, backgrounds uh, that uh, Barbara Gray has made, especially for the books. And I think they're using, uh, she's used distress inks, uh, alcohol inks, and it's just, she's just played around with the backgrounds and things and then taken photographs and shown. So they're all inky techniques. I think we've got some um this one might be cling film uh backed this one is just stunning i can't wait to use that one now they these also come in um smaller sizes as well so you can you obviously shrink them down for your books uh, as i said i've only got the 12 by 12s um and i've got two of the books i've got this one which is northern lights and the other one that i made for hachanda was the indian summer and um another the other ones are on my wish list as well so um they're just stunning so yeah i'm looking forward to using these and what i also like about them is they're double-sided which is always a big bonus but you have got one is like a planar side as you can see that looks on there it looks a little bit blurry but it's not it's just like a fade that one might be a bit better see that looks that just looks lovely that just looks like the you know um i don't know like some smoke going through there it's just gorgeous so yes yeah, so i'm looking forward to using those Brilliant. so let's get started now what else are we going to need you're also going to be needing some craft card uh, i pick my craft card from anna marie designs i've always used her craft card to me um it's the best that i've ever used and um so that's my personal pres my personal preference you may find um another brand you know a brilliant works brilliant for you I'm just saying what I use, uh, which is brilliant. Now this one has got two different colours on either side, on each side. So you've got more of a glossy finish, which is this one here. It's not too glossy, but it is quite smooth. 
and then this one is more of the matte so this is more like um i don't know like your ready brown and this is more like the yellow brown so it depends on what color you prefer i personally prefer the darker one but again personal preference so you can use either i like the the idea of that so we're going to be using a pack of those and these come in a pack of 25 i believe um yes that was sheets of 25 now i use 12 by 12 uh, only because I like to get the value out of my card now uh, I'm going to be using the we said about these before now these go up to six six inches your biggest square and then they go down in half an inch steps so we're going to be using the five and a half inch square and I can just about fit um two of these on our card so i get two pages out of one sheet of 12 by 12 which to me is i'm not wasting a lot of paper so that for me is a billy bonus we're also going to be you i'm also going to be using some black cardstock now this is just for layering and i just just to um accentuate the paper so it makes it pop as you can see just round the edge here i've got uh some black cardstock it just makes your your pages pop out more don't have to it's entirely up to you it also adds a bit more bulk to your book if you want to but also you can then change the colors so for instance on this one here um i've got instead of using the craft card i've just used the um the black card stock and you know it just works well uh in you know in there it's just like a little pocket um so again um we'll be using one of we'll be using that and then i've also got some gray board now this gray board is 960 gsm yes 960 so it's pretty thick and you will need um a heavy uh guillotine i'm using i've got the uh tim holtz one the big uh guillotine and that works well you don't have to use this cut this weight you can go down to 660 gsm which is more like the the backing that you get in your flat backed envelopes uh the 660 so you know works perfectly well i just like a bit more stability to my album covers so um that's why i'm using the thicker card so we're going to be using some of those uh, i reckon we need about two you need two sheets of the gray board so not 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 a lot because it's it's just going to do your your covers and your spine so that's all you'll need that for then i've also got a selection of studio light dies that um, i've uh, treated myself to and these were on a chanda um, a couple of weeks ago and I, oh, I was dying to get them so um anyway they came i think it was in the week it come Tuesday so um, this is the first time I'm going to use them so I'm absolutely really excited um, so this one here is more like a wrap that it creates like a wrap around and I've made it in this book here to show you which is this one here can you see it creates more like the wrap uh, uh, around and then you can obviously pull your uh, if you, you're going to secure it with ribbon just pull it out then you've got your tags inside in the pockets in there okay so that's that one again you don't have to use these have a look in your stash see if you've got something very similar uh, i know other companies do um these type of dies very similar to these dies so have a look in your stash and see what you have that may work 
this is just as I keep saying my preference and my what I'm using okay this one here works brilliantly for this is this one here so it's like a ticket one now you can use these standalone you don't have to use them within the memory books that I'm going to be using you can put some um, ribbon or some string down here and uh, you've just got a little tiny flat book so again you can utilize them different ways now these ones are brilliant because these have got the layers uh, so that you can you know cut out so you've got you've got two layers so this one would be your outer um, no that doesn't work does it it's going to black there we go there we can see that better so this one would be your outer here and then this is the obviously your inner your uh, layer or your mat should I say that would be your mat now I would go what I'm going to use these for is I'm going to use these as pockets now they might be too big so you can just chop them off the, the ends it's not going to matter and um, then just glue around the outside but I'm going to use them as a pocket inside but then the other brilliant thing is it's also got the smaller ones that would fit in here okay so the smaller ones again brilliant for using as pockets and I'll just bring in this book again just to show you which, which I've done here so as you can see that there is this die okay so I've just created a small pocket using those again I'm utilizing the dies that I've got um, so that I can make them go further because um, I think we've all got this stash out there and uh, we, we don't use it so and, and I'm also to blame with that so um, you know if I can utilize um, my crafty stash in other ways then that's brilliant I've also got this one I haven't tried this one yet excuse me so I'm not sure if it's going to fit don't know if it might be too big but we're going to have a go and what I thought that I could do is if it was too uh, big for my book is I might just put in um, like a fold in here an embossed line fold that over to create a flap so that you can glue to your page and you then have created a lovely flip and flap and again this is this comes as well with a few different layers you've got circles as well which um, are going to work brilliantly as well so that um, I haven't got anything that one is no, it's not on these ones but these are the um, the essential collection I think they're called from Studio Light just cutting and embossing so yes uh, as I say I got mine from Hachanda um, but as I say if you put um, studio light into uh, a search engine it will come up um, different places where you can purchase these and then this one here was I thought we'd make a little booklet with it that we can put into one of our pockets and um, I just thought that would be a nice addition as well okay so again this one has got um, the different layers and um, yeah so I'm, I'm quite excited to try these dies and again this one here is just a, set, a small a longer version of the the one uh, that I've just shown you and again I might use that as a flip and a flap okay what we're going to do now we're going to make up our hinge now I wanted to show as I've said in my other videos before um, there are ways that you can make memory books without dies how did we make them when we didn't have dies so there are ways and means to make them there are pros and cons um, to each and but I think there's um, a way that you can make the hinge system and it is so easy there's hardly any measuring at all involved all you need is a trimmer and a scoreboard so if you've got a scoreboard now um, 
you need a school board that goes up in one eighth of an inch. Okay, you. It's to me, it's brilliant. Okay, so um, that's what I sort of use. I use the school power one. Uh, I think there are other ones out there as well, but I've had this one. As you can see, it's a bit uh, tatty now, but it still works. So that's good enough for me. So the binding, what we're going to do now for the binding. We're going to, it needs to be a tiny bit shorter than our um, outside edge. Now I can't remember uh, what I did with this, so let's measure it. So the we need to measure our, yes it does need to be that. So our, our first uh, we need to cut at five and a half okay so you need to cut your craft card at five and a half so five and a half okay so that's one and then turn it around and then you need to cut at four inches so that one needs to be at four then we need to cut again at three and then again at two. Okay, and that's it. Okay, get your scoreboard out, and this is going to just be brilliant. So, get the so you've got your three different sizes there so four three and two now what you're going to do is you're going to butt it up to the edge and you're going to score at three quarters of an inch so score down at three quarters of an inch okay that's your one score line okay let's move it over a little bit so three quarters of an inch now what you're going to do is you're going to flip you're going to just rotate it so rotate it round and then score the opposite side at same at three quarters of an inch okay so you end up with something that looks like that okay so fold them over and give them a good score down and just burnish them okay so that's one. What do you think we're going to do now? Yep, we're going to do the same again. So again on your three inch, score at three quarters of an inch. Rotate it round and again score at three quarters of an inch. Okay. Fold and burnish. And then again with the last three quarters of an inch, rotate and score it again. Now, simple, I hear you say. Yep, it was as easy as that. And then there we have our hinge. Okay. So that is our hinge system already. Now, you the other hinge ones that you do, where you've got the die, and you can also do it with a school board, is brilliant. You get more pages doing um, those types of hinges. This one you own, you get. Um, I think it's you get six <coughs> because these two are your outer edge. And then you've got then the insides. You've got one, two, three. So you've actually got four. So it's one, two, three, four, six, seven. So you've got eight pages in total. Um, you know, either back to back. And uh, I think on the other, you've got probably a bit more. I think. Let me just double check. Yeah. Now this one is a bit smaller, but uh, it's a lot smaller. Um, 
but you can see this one was the hidden hinge system and it's got more so you've got one two three four five so you've got actually six pages that's 12 sides you have in those books so this one is a good starter uh, if you wanted to um, you know just not have too much of a um, too many pages in your book but you can actually make them quite bulky because I've given um, quite a big gap you've got it's you know you can actually load it with loads of flips and flaps okay so we're going to just put a double sided tape on the back and on the back and again on this back okay so we'll start with the bigger one now you're not going to take this double sided off yet because we need to make the backing of our spine so I'm using red liner tape um, and I also use score tape as well this is uh, three eighths of an inch um, wide this one here and the score tape that I use is half an inch okay so you could use either or now I tend to put double sided on the outside and then I glue on the inside okay the outside one just gives you that instant grab okay so that you can actually then carry on and then the glue on the inside sticks it then over time makes it more robust so again on there like that and then on this side now again this is not I'm only going to get one down on here but that's okay now what you could also do is put your double sided tape uh, onto your hinge and then this then will help um, this then will, will stick your pages down basically so you need to put it on either side and don't put it right down to the fold only because you don't want uh, you don't want to have like parts of your parts of the um, tape showing so just about a quarter of an inch up your hinge should be fine okay. you can always put glue uh, on the bits that uh, are not double sided and that will help it a bit more that's one Now, we're going to, as we've said, we leave this on at the moment. So we're going to take off our double-sided off the part of the hinge. So if you fold it, so that's open. If you fold the flaps um, towards the back so that you've just got um, your two, the two pieces of double-sided um, that are going to stick down. If you take them off and then we can put the glue then on the inside okay glue on the inside now this comes the tricky part you've got to sort of line it up so tend to try and line it up at the top and line it up so you've got equal distance between your uh, fold here 
and the start of your next hinge. Okay, so I think that's probably about right. Okay, then just burnish down. Okay, and then again, do the last one. So this is the smallest, as that goes in the middle. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue just down that edge. Like so. Fold them over. Now this one I find the mo most tricky because you can't necessarily see. I think that's about right. Let's give it a little tap over. And then burnish down. Okay, how easy was that? There we go, so that is then our hinge and it's as easy as that, one, two, three. And I've, I was using these hinges before I used the hidden hinge system from with the die. Um, although I did actually then, I did also um, use a scoreboard and make uh, the hidden hinge with just using a scoreboard before the um, the memory books from Tonic, the that hinge system come out. So this is just going back to basis. This would probably suit um, somebody that's just starting. If you didn't, if the measuring and everything of the hidden hinge is too much, this would be perfect. And as I said, you've got a lovely gap um, between each hit, each page, so that you can bulk them out a bit. Okay, so that then is our hinge done. We've, that's finished out the way. We can just put that to one side and we will we'll come and deal with that when we start then with, um, you know, putting everything together. Right, the next job on our list. We're going to, to cut out our uh, outer covers. Now the outer covers are a quarter of an inch bigger then our pages so we need to cut our grey board at five and three quarters square okay we're going to need two of those so five and three quarters square and then the hinge sorry the spine is going to be I think I measured it at two and a quarter sorry not two and a quarter um, Let's get it right at two and three quarters, I think. It was. I'm trying to, my this ruler is not the best. Yeah, two and three quarters is the spine, which should be about this. Yeah, see that is two and a half. Right, so, cool. so let's start first of all with the grey board. So you'll need your heavy duty or heavier duty um, uh, guillotine. So say I've got this um, this one, and you're going to cut at what did I say? Five and three quarters. So five and three quarters. Okay, we'll make a loud ding. So five by five and three quarters. I guess it's one side. And five and three quarters. Five and three quarters. Okay, and then by five and three quarters. And that should hopefully be enough for our spine. 
for the spine I would just although it's that's measuring five and a half I want you to cut off uh, one eighth of an inch so make that at two and three eighths okay so two and three eighths now the reason being is I want the on let's turn it over this way right where the folds are here I need it to when I butt up my next sheet I want this fold to be in the middle of that gap okay so that because this is going to attach our front and back covers together okay so that then hopefully is going to sit in that gap in theory and make sure it is five and three quarters which it is brilliant so that's, that's that done. so that then is the outer part of our book done okay so the next job now is just make sure that they are very near you don't want them to be either too small or too big otherwise you'll end up with sort of a step in your um, in your paper so you'll need now two sheets of your cardstock that you're going to use to cover your fault your um, outer covers right so we're now going to work on our uh, covering our outer covers so you'll need two of your chosen cardstock so I'm using the craft card and you need to cut this at seven and three quarters of an inch okay so cut the two cards together make sure they're butted up to each other and they're flush and then that hopefully you should then get a nice straight line so seven and three quarters and cut down okay put that to one side and then what we're going to do is you're going to just we're going to stick these together as you can see on here on the back page that's my join there okay so it's very not very noticeable okay and it's easier if it's on the back page and not on the spine uh, and then you won't end up with cracking now th at this stage make sure you get the page the, the side that you want so I'm having this is going to be my my front and back cover side so I'm going to work on this side so I'm going to put my glue on my left hand sorry my right hand uh, piece of card and just stick it down just a little way away from the edge not right on the edge okay just burnish that down so that you can you get all the air bubbles out if you can it just helps then the double sided to stick a little bit more okay take off the red line okay this is a tricky part so we'll say tricky it's not really tricky just line them up to the top and then the bottom okay and then stick down when you when you think you've got a nice straight finish on the top and the bottom then just don't be afraid to just then stick it down okay and a nice burnish um, right the next job is you'll need a ruler and a pencil now I have one of these Tim Holtz ones and it just cuts out a lot of the measuring you know one inch 
and then measure along another one inch so uh, this is it's got your cubes and they are a quarter of an inch so you will need four lines of your cubes and that then becomes your inch so we'll count down one two three four so we're measuring down an inch and draw a line and again an inch draw a line don't worry if it doesn't go all the way over to the the side because we are going to cut a, some of that off um, in a moment so an inch on the bottom and then an inch at the side that should then hopefully if all going well we should have nice equal borders yes and that's a lot better okay uh, I did one and I didn't have um, equal borders because I I did the measurements wrong so so let's just recap so you've got two pieces of cardstock of your 12 by 12 put them together cut them together and cut at uh, seven and three quarters of an inch okay cut, once they're cut split them apart double-sided tape down one of the smaller shorter edges stick them both together and burnish well get your uh, ruler and measure up at one inch draw your line and measure from the left hand side an inch and draw your line now I'm going to use two, I'm going to use double sided and wet glue so uh, I just stick one part of the grey board so either the top or the bottom it doesn't really matter or the side and this just is going to give you your stick for now okay and then the um, the glue is going to be to give you a, your stick forever okay when I say that what I mean is that if you had to you would have to wait for your glue to dry to do the next stage so the double sided just helps to um, speed things along a little bit so let's burnish them down again um, use a bone folder okay now what I did is I um, I'm using two pieces of card that are the same um, GSM as the the, the covers um, as my guide okay so get the glue now we're going to put the glue all over and be quite liberal okay with this now whatever glue you use I would suggest giving yourself a test piece um, to um, testing your glue with the cardstock that you use um, because some glues may buckle and um, create bubbles on cardstock of different weights um, so I would suggest using um, making a sort of do, do a test piece you know stick to stick um, a scrap piece of, um, of the card that you're using to another piece and see if you get that bubble effect uh, it's sort of a ripple effect that you can see the glue underneath now I know that the that I'm using cosmic shimmer so I know that the cosmic shimmer does not react with my this cardstock um, as well as the Nuvo that also is pretty good and what other one do I use and the, also the Aileen this one here Aileen's original um, tacky glue that also works really well so once you've put your glue all over now I may need to just put a little bit more on there okay and then just line the sides and the bottom up 
and then stick down. Okay. There we go. Oops, sorry, that was shut again. Again, just burnish that down. Okay. Make sure it's stuck. Now with our, we need our spine. So, again, lots of glue. Take off the double sided. This is where you need your spaces. So, space your, put your two spaces in between. Okay, like so. And then you need to line them up. So, line them up either from the bottom or the top, whichever is easiest for you. Okay, so line up the, the, the bottom. I'm lining up the bottom. Okay, so make sure that they're lined up nicely. And make sure that you have got the two spaces in. And push up. And that then should hopefully give me a nice yeah. that's giving me a nice gap now, so I shouldn't get the um, the creasing, uh, the cracking of my card. So we're on to the last one. Take that double sided off. And lots of glue. Get your spaces and line them up again. Just push, put a little bit of pressure on the sides so that the spaces stand up on their own. Make sure that the top and the bottom are both the same. Okay, and then stick down. And then we've got a nice even gap. Now, what I would do now is I'm just going to measure an inch from this side and I'll just use my scissors and cut that off. Doing it this way is I know I'm going to have an equal edge rather than doing it beforehand because you don't know what gap you're going to have here. Okay, right. Now for the putting in your no we're not going to do that sorry what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to fold up our um no we're not even going to do that we're going to do cut our corners now um a lovely lady that follows me uh gainer very kindly put me in touch with um this etsy store that do these fantastic um, tool and this is a corner tool it's a mitre corner tool that's the only thing I can um, I can uh, describe it as and it gives you nice neat edges excuse me if you would like, like to um, to purchase one um, the website is here it's called Colourway Arts and they're on Etsy and um, they come from America and um, they're just awesome. So, uh, wait, how we use this is we just put it over so that our corner is, um, our book is in our corner and then you just get your pencil and you just draw a line and do the same on this side 
Şöyle. Çöğlen. Çöğlen. Now what I tended to do, I'm cutting, um, so where we've put our pencil mark, I'm going to cut this side of the line, okay, not over, just slightly in, okay, and again on this side, just slightly in, and last one, like the end and then that should hopefully give us some really nice flush and equal corners now I'm going to just use the the edges of the paint the gray board of our covers just to help with creasing our paper over Okay, just do it very gently and take your time on this part because you want to get a nice crisp edge. Okay. And then just to help it, I'm just going to go along the top with my bone folder, my bone folder, and that then is going to help. with the crease and then it gives you a nice flat edge as well okay and do the same with the other side our creases done now we need to put then our double sided tape along the, the craft card and also along the, the grey board double-sided tape on all so we're going to stick them down now so I'd start by taking off your double-sided the back in okay, of one side and then using your bone folder you need to kind of push in the corners okay so that they are creased in okay like so and then just stick down okay. and we're going to do this corner first and then this corner next Double, take off your double sided tape like so and just push your corners in a little bit again on that side and push in 
Now, as you can see, that's created a lovely straight edge there. It just makes that just makes them so neat. Okay, one. And two. Okay, remember to do this side because you need to just push them in That's it. and then flip and fold over. Last one. Uh, off we come. Eventually. And just push that one down. Again, like so. Right, so that's where we are at the moment. Okay, so we've just covered our front and our spine. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. So we've got nice straight edges, uh, which makes for a, a lovely professional book. Now, um, we just need to use, you can either use an old credit card or a store uh, membership card or something like that. We're just going to crease the 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 folds so you've where your front and your back cover meet the spine so just very gently push your card um, up so then it creases okay so you get a nice straight lovely fold do the same with the other side okay get a nice straight fold like that and because we've made our gaps a little wider they fold really nicely as you can see look so now we can put on our we need to put on our spine and I'm hoping that I have which I think I have making that spine a little bit smaller has um, helped an awful lot. So we're going to take off the double sided tape off of, sorry, we're going to take it off of the back of the um, hinges first. Don't do what I've just done and take off that one on the hinge. Leave that one until a little later. So I'm just going to push that one back on so that it doesn't accidentally stick. Put your glue in between. Like so. Okay, then this comes the tricky part because you've got to try and get it in the middle as much as you can okay so that I'm hoping is about right it looks it and burnish down so as you can see uh, that's the top and then there's the bottom see I've got a nice even gap between the two okay now we can take off the double sided tape on the back of the hinge okay and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue sort of on the bottom there and I'm going to leave that as it is. And then we're going to fold it over, and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we've got that fold in the right place. Oh, perfect. There we go. 
that's a good job you see I didn't put this double sided tape too near down because that would have then ruined um, this part because we um, we're obviously going to cover that and this as well so if we would put our double sided tape right down there we would have seen it and I would have had to have ripped it off so um, maybe uh, that, that's a good thing so again just put your your glue along the bottom I'm going to put some along the top there as well because I've got a bigger gap there okay and push down and fold up there we go there that has worked out fantastically I'm really pleased with that okay so that you will get it where it does come up a little bit but it until it's um, sort of found its level it is going to do that so um, and once we cover that it will secure it a bit more in place so that then is our cover made now that wasn't too bad I don't think that was quite quick um, really uh, so I'm going to stop it there and um, next video we will um, go on to die cutting the pages with the clarity dies and um, starting to decorate uh, if you've liked this video please give me a thumbs up and um, it's always nice to have new subscribers and likes uh, leave me a comment uh, again I like to um, have uh, read all your comments and I do try and answer every single one uh, of you so if you have a question please um, comment down below or come over to Facebook or Instagram and follow me on those um, I'm also on Twitter now and um, so come and say hi on any of those um, tomorrow Morton um, just uh, click search and that will should come up so saying that I will love and leave you and I've really hoped you've enjoyed this a uh, bit of a different video um, to what I've done in the past but um, hopefully it um, is just as enjoyable so until the next time bye oh before I say bye bye um, I'll put all my social media links and that down in the in the description down below so click on that and that should take you then to um, the chosen social media so bye